excited about this. So give us a little quick background. How did all how did all of this come about? Now, that's funny. I was just I was just talking about it with uh, Wayne and Chuck. Um, it was a couple years ago. We were at the Amy show, and my phone's blowing up, and it was Chuck asking, "Where are you? What are you doing?" <laughs> And uh, I'm like, I'm walking around at the Amy show. Why, what's going on? He goes, hey, I need you to meet us over here behind a American Honda. I'm like, all right, I'm on my way. And uh, got over there, and they introduced me to Mr. Snyder. And we kind of actually started talking old racing. So we kind of we were in the same circles. And that was two years ago we started talking about you know, trying to do something. And obviously, with, with the way our program was and our team, we, we knew that we, we were kind of at, a, at you know, a, a standstill with the, uh, where we were at with our program, and we needed to take a step, you know, to be competitive in Superbike, and we really got, you know, owe a lot to Yamaha for all of their support that they had for us, but we, we felt we were done with that program, and we needed to take a step and be competitive, and we wanted to win some Superbike races, and uh, American Honda and the new CBR 1000 SP2 is a perfect fit for us. Sounds good. So, um, the, your working team uh, will kind of remain the same, the folks that you'll have? Yeah, even surprisingly after the year that we had last year, because we definitely had a testing year last year, but uh, all of our crew, Scotty Jensen and Danny Anderson and, and Evan Steele, or, or no matter what we were doing, they were back on board. Um, you know, that whole crew has, has got a great relationship, and um, no matter what we were doing, we were all going to do it together. Whether, you know, that's kind of our motto is we, we live or die together kind of a deal. And, they all wanted to be around Jake some more and, and see him come back and give him an opportunity to show really what he can do on a Superbike. Sure. So, obviously, this is a new platform. It's a new platform for the world. We're going to be racing in World Superbike, other domestic series around the world. So, um, how, how do you start with this? I mean, uh, that's, you know, <laughs> you're going to be busy. Yeah, aren't you? lots of emails and lots of no. phone calls and lots of, hey, where's this? And, Literally, uh, I wish I would have videoed it, but literally two hours after the bikes actually showed up at our shop, two hours later, one of these was down to the main frame and a motor. That was all that was left. And there was a whole bunch of boxes getting filled up, and we were shipping stuff all over the world to, to get it done. It's going to be a lot. It's definitely, to start with, it's, it's, a, it's an uphill climb, um, but we're excited about it. I mean, it, we, would, we would probably you know, rather be doing this than not going racing at all, so we're excited about it. Um, you know, as long as we keep taking nice little steps and keep working our way, that's going to be my job. It has been with our team is to kind of put the brakes on. Luckily, just Jake's here because if Scotty was here, you know, I'd be they'd be ganging up on me. But our my our motto has always been to kind of work our way up to it. You know, not just be a big flash in the pan. And, you know, that's how we started our program, and it's been successful for us in the past. And that's going to be my job this year. Is like, hey guys, look, we'll get there. We'll get there. They're going to be real antsy to want to win races right off the bat, but I, I think we need to be consistent. So. so, you know, obviously in the Moto America paddock, there, there's especially a couple of really teams that have been there quite a while, right. Yamaha and Suzuki. We know Suzuki will have a, a new platform as well. So right. kind of in it's sort of what you said in your time frame or your thought process, how long, when, when, when are you looking to, okay, we, we want to be competitive here? Well, again, um, I think, <laughs> What's that, Coda? Coda. <laughs> that's yeah. Again, that's that's Jake and Jake and the crew are going to be not be happy if we're not competitive pretty quick. But for me, I want I want us uh, to get there to where at the you know by the end of the season, towards the end, later part of the season, we're consistently in the hunt for a podium. You know, we need to be consistently in the hunt there, um, not just here or there or for one session or half a session, but consistently. And then I would I would for me I would say next year we want to be ready to make a run at the championship. That would, that would be for me. But. So just kind of on a personal note of thinking about it, what, is, what does it mean to, to have American Honda there? You're going to be oh, running man. a Honda. Yeah. What, what do you feel about that? Oh, I'm going to get emotional. It's, it's awesome. <laughs> I mean, it is because, you know, just to, be, uh, just to be a part of bringing Honda back to road racing is, is huge. You know, it's, it's, um, it means a lot to the team. It's, it means a lot to me. You know, I'm really proud of that, actually. Thanks, Dan. So, Mr. Gagne. How are you? Great. Great one. Good. Good. So uh, pretty exciting for you too as well, huh? Yeah, it's very, very exciting. Uh, like Danny said, we've been trying to put this program together for a long time now, and uh, Danny's put in a lot of hard work over these years as well as everybody at Honda, and uh, I'm just I'm excited. I'm proud to be part of it. I'm proud to be able to bring this super bike to, uh, to Moto America and get some good results. And uh, I'm just excited to start this new program. Like Danny said, it's going to be a lot of work. We've got a lot of work to do and uh, a lot of learning to do, but I uh, couldn't have
and have a better group of people to deal with. So. I was asking you this morning, I thought it was pretty interesting. I said, so have you ever written a CBR before? And, and no. So, uh, no, yeah. I haven't. I have not. So I'm really, I'm really excited to swing my leg over it. And uh, yeah, I just can't stop looking at it. But <laughs> I'm, uh, yeah, I'm really excited to get my, get my, get my head on it. And uh, I, I have really, really good hopes for what we can do with this thing. I've talked to Scotty a lot and Dan Anderson and Evan, all those guys, and they're really excited. Uh, and they know we can, we can build a great, a great motorcycle. So we'll be there. Sure. And I know one other thing you're kind of excited about today, which is a little, a little bit of a side note. I understand you're getting, a, getting another Honda. <laughs> it's probably going to be pretty good. Tell, tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, I'm excited to get my hands on a CRF 450 too, one of those new 450s. I hear those are amazing. And all I know, a lot of my biggest part of my training program is being able to ride motocross and being able to put in a lot of motos. So uh, having a, a perfect platform to do that on as well and feel comfortable at home and be able to put in my work and uh, be ready for the weekends is huge. So I'm really excited. To, I'll probably, if it doesn't rain too much, I'll be out there tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. That sounds good. Uh, well, again, we're excited to have you guys on as a team. Um, you know, we, we, we know what that means. We've, we've watched you, and we were glad to glad to be able to make that connection as well. So, uh, good trade. again, we'll be able to ask some more individual questions after we get through a couple of other interviews. So with that, I'd like to ask Mr. Sipper to 